Here we see the washing machine in his natural habitat. Fighting for territory so they can mate and make sure their gene pool lives on. It feels like watching some sci-fi battle with robots controlled by humans. But this is not the case. These washing machines are real and are extremely dangerous. I have just been told that I was completely in the wrong. These machines are actually not washing machines, but are actually walkers from the future. I apologize for my earlier statements and will now leave this to a more capable man. Thank you and good night. Yeah, okay, okay, we all now? Dave, Dave. We... Uh, hello, my name is Gorm, and I'm gonna talk a bit about Hawken. Um, first thing first, I want to say that I am extremely fucking good at this. No, don't, don't show, don't show that, oh, David. Why did you show? Why did you put? Um, okay. Um, apparently, I'm not that great at this game. It's fucking, fucking mystery is out. Um, so I'll just talk about the game now. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna talk a bit about the graphics. Um, graphics is really beautiful as you can see it's some sort of alien uh, that the early 90s sort of looked to him like Terminator um, alien matrix um, all that stuff comes into my mind when I see this uh, it looks really awesome really like you know old school um, sort of sci-fi look I really love it straight lines um, gray um, a lot of you know a lot of grays a lot of straight lines that sort of thing really awesome I really love it um, it's one bit, you know, one thing you can consider. Um, the bodies themselves are a bit weird. They look kind of like, as Werner said in the intro. Thank you for that, Werner. That wasn't was me, actually. I did the intro. Um, that wasn't Werner Herzog. Uh, if you don't know Werner Herzog, watch his stuff. It's like documentary stuff or like old school movies, which pretty much are like documentary-ish movies anyway. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> stop, stop making any... Sort of, you know, I'm not I'm not endorsed by anyone. I don't make money for this. Um, but, um, yeah, the walker body, they look like washing machines. That looks a bit odd. You can upgrade them later on, but that's more of a... I don't know. I think they look too shit to begin with, because people are not going to care. Um, yeah, that, that, that sound you hear, that's an awesome sound as well. That's like my next point. The, the, the sounds in this game really have that sort of um, old school... Not old school, it's actually really new school. Um, that sort of Matrix. Oh, not Matrix. Fuck. I mean, Transformers. Wow, why didn't I write this down? Um, Transformers sort of sounds to them. And uh, that new movie, what was it again? Battle Battleship. That was an awful movie, wasn't it? Seriously. Who, who watched that movie? What was it? Uh, um, but yeah, Battleship. That sort of sounds to him. I don't know who makes him. Fuck it. I don't care. That guy is a fucking moron. He just keeps on giving us awesome sounds to this stupid movies. Uh, it's like dubstep eco, sort of, I feel like. Um, oh, oh, this is painful. Did I kill the guy? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, whatever. So, well, man, it's awful seeing you play, to be honest. Unless you're gonna not watch me play and just, like, not watch it. Um... But yeah, that's that, that's all that stuff. So um, now on to gameplay, which is the most important thing. You know, graphics is good, sound is good. Is the gameplay good? You know, if that's not good, then what's the point in playing? Um, please kill that guy. Okay. Um, for for instance, there are the, the movement is really really awesome, fluid. You have side steps. You have a jetpack. You can fly up. Um, everything has this sort of really awesome. Thing to it, um, you have also like a one heavy gun and one gun that is more of a sort of sustained damage, like I have here, or you know one like less heavy, one heavy gun. It's 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 really fun to have that sort of thing. Um, you have to be careful though because your weapons do overheat. So if, I don't know it, it's a cool mechanic because you have like my mech has this um, sort of upgrade that it's a sort of ability really where you can instantly cool down your weapons and I hope they put an animation on it that would be cool if they're like a bucket of water or something <laughs> just like pour it on the weapons like I don't know um, I'm never gonna do that are they that's uh, just my fantasy uh, it's like this big bucket of water <laughs> like the steam comes off 
don't know. Um, um, yeah, but that, 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 that's one thing. Um, uh, next thing is that, um, that you have, because of this fluid, because of this, like, movement you have, like, this easy movement, uh, the heavies feel a little bit underpowered because the heavies can't do that shit almost ever. They are slow. They don't. They're big. They don't move as fast. They can't do as many side dodges as you. Maybe one or two, and it feels like. Yeah, it feels like when you're playing a medium or a light class, you're just like totally, totally trolling him and winning easy. Like, I never see really a good heavy because I, I just, they're just slow. Like I said, it's like. You have to constantly do that, this sidestep shit, and heavies can't do that. And on top of that, their weapons almost always overheat quicker than yours, so they don't even have that. It's just, I, I don't see, I don't see the point of them at the moment, it's just a bit odd. Um, you know, but that's that, the, the weapons are a bit, meh. Um, you also have a repair mechanic, and um, the repair mechanic works like this, you, you sit down for a sec, and um, all your HUDs go away because you're not in your mech anymore. Your vision is outside of your mech, which is kind of cool. And you heal up, kind of. Just your, your, just your heal. Uh, that's the only heal... Well, there are little heals in the game when you kill a guy. But that's pretty much the only heal you have in the game is sitting down for a second. And it happens a lot that you just get killed while you're doing that. Like, um, I got some... I got actually some clips for you. Um, so here I'm, I was fighting this guy. And he just runs away behind this corner. And I just walk up to him. He's like, hello. And then I try, and I try to fucking heal myself because I've been, you know, battling two or three guys there, and uh, I just like, yeah, I see a guy. Boop, they're coming out. He's like, oh fuck, check out, get him, get him, get him. Um, I'm died. So uh, yeah, so uh, here, here's another one. Here's some I'm following this guy. He, he goes around the corner. I'm like, okay, I have to follow him. And he just stops there, like one shot kill. <laughs> he's just trying to heal himself. Um, he's me again. I, I feel more than anyone else. And uh, yeah, I just tried to know how I die. So that's a thing. It's a thing that's cool, but in most cases, can actually you can't really use it that much unless you have like a control point game. And a that match game is kind of a useless thing. So I guess this game is not really made for that match. It's more made for sort of team that match maybe, or you know where people protect you while you're repairing. But I still love the that match one because it's it's just awesome. I don't know. I just love it, and uh, and, and I don't know. I win at it. That's, that's also important. Um, so yeah, so different modes are you have a death match mode, you have a team death match mode. I don't have to explain those. You have a control point. Don't really have to explain those. It is a bit of a different one because it's like missile sil missile silos and uh, missile silos where you pretty much just you control point and then instead of them having points, they have health on their like a, a structure you're killing. It's like a, and in the background it's a thing. I don't know what it does. Maybe it's like a big. You know, orgy center, center for all the robots to have sex in and make new robot babies. But um, maybe, like I sort of said, some you know mating sort of fighting for that. But I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think robots have sex really, unless it's on. Well, I, I do have seen some documentaries about robots, penises, and sex, but I don't think actually. You ever kill each other? It's, it's kind of nice. You can do that. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's about it. We have. I don't know. You have one more mode. Except for the, set, the 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 whole points thing, you have a siege mode, which I actually haven't played yet. It's pretty much uh, what I've heard about it, what I've seen about it. It says um, is this sort of escort mission, pretty much escort fight VIP mission. But, uh, the VIP is just a big ass machine, a big ass you know sort of spaceship that shoots stuff and all that. So it might be pretty awesome, but I don't know. I, 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 it's just hard to actually play every mode because. The, you know, the, the servers, which is another point I'm gonna make. The servers, at the moment, the server browser is absolutely, absolutely atrocious. The matchmaking system does not work at all. There's no reason to use it. The, um, the browser has moments, has, and it says like, so for instance, it says 10 out of 12 people. You try to join it, you can't join it. 6 out of 12, same, you can't join it. You will think, maybe it's full. Maybe, but no, it's just it's just broken and it just won't let you join in, and that's that's the point. But this is a beta, so this is fixable. But um, it is an issue at the moment, so that's why I don't have all that footage of the siege mode because there is no siege fucking server that has people in it. 
uh, nothing is just broken. I cannot join it. I haven't tried it so much. I cannot join Siege mode. Maybe now, really, 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 at least recently, I haven't played it anymore. I've been playing Natural Selection, but um, maybe, maybe there. Um, another thing is, um, as you can see here, is uh, the, uh, the 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 upgrades. You have upgrades in this mode where you can have, you level up again. You they always need to do this, don't they? They always, especially with free to play games, they need you to level up because you you need to buy boosters. You need to get cooler stuff to you know, which you can unlock by getting money. Um, as you can see here, you can you can opt not being on not being a washing machine at all. But I think it's I mean, I mean who who doesn't want to be a green washing machine? Seriously, I want to be a green washing machine, tearing up other green washing machines or yellow washing machines. Fucking hell, let's go all the way up. Now blue washing machines, you've got yellow washing machines. You can be every washing machine. You can be you can be covert ops washing machine without any colors, like or like you know camo colors. You can be like, oh, this this block shaped thing in nature is not a, is a bush, not a walker. You know what I mean? That's yeah, why you camo those things. You have to be stealth in this game. You can you have to stand next to a tree and you're completely invisible. Nobody knows who you are. Is that is that hmm? Is that a walker shade? Bush, or is that a walker? Nobody knows. You know, walker it sounds like fucking thing, isn't it? Walking Dead walkers. I mean, like you know, like sci-fi walkers, not 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 like horror walkers. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I do wish they had some sort of in the gameplay. There's some some sort of pickups, like power pickups. I I do enjoy like team that match cannot run without it in my opinion. There needs to be some sort of power pickup like in the Unreal Tournament. There needs to be something there. I uh, hope they add that because that's a really good idea. Me and Pine Pinch. Stuff like a, a power up somewhere in the map. I guess you have to make special maps for team that for that match. But for team that match it might work as well. So and that's their main mode. I don't know why they don't have any power ups at all. Like have a team that match mode in the middle have like a big power up and people fight for that power up kind of you know for the control of that power up point and. As people going to the same direction, have big battles, you know, have a fun game. So yeah, um, the options in this game are aren't too bad. You can you can change your FOV and stuff like that. There's not it's not that much. I think it's ninety. It's the highest. It's not that high, but it, it it's enough really. I I I would rather have one hundred in games, but <clears throat> sorry sorry for that. <clears throat> um, ninety is good enough, anyways. Um, most people play on 90. I just play on 100, I just see more. Um, that's about it. I don't have any headaches. I can pl I played Borderlands 1 for, for ages. I didn't really have any problems with it. I don't have, I don't want, I'm not one of those people that gets sick from FOV, so I can't really say if this is a good FOV, but, uh, 90 should be okay, right? I mean, people have seen, I've never seen any complaints about a game having 90 FOV. Um, it can name Max as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, um, that's about it. I think I'm I'm done through, through this game now, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed my little video. I, you know, I have nothing to say. Uh, I've got some other videos. I've got some tribe videos. I've got some Hawken videos coming up, like tutorials or something. I'm gonna do probably for different sort of max, different you know size max, and um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll uh, see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.